Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have a very special car with me and I reach out this car from a luck I should say and today I have with me the new Mazda CX-60 2023 model. It's not already yet on sale. It will come I think in a few months in September it will come on sale but I managed to get this car from Germany and I will review it for you guys. In this video I will make the full review interior exterior. I will try to show you every single feature of this new Mazda CX-60. This is the plug-in hybrid version. I think it's the only one one version that they will take it out and yeah I don't have a price or other information about the options this is the full option but I will try to explain you as we go in the video also I will give you the technical data because I have with me right here all the technical data of the car the car will come with a 2.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line combined with an electric motor also very important is that this huge SUV can do 0 to 100 in 5.8 seconds also the maximum the top speed of the car is 200 km per hour it has the power of the car is 328 horsepower 500 Newton meters it's an all-wheel drive system and it works really incredible I mean I was really impressed with what this car offer I also drive the car before and Mazda really step up the game with this car make big big improvement anyway let me go forward let me tell you that the power of the car is also connected with an 8 speed automatic transmission very good transmission in combination with this e-sky active petrol engine and with all this hybrid plug-in hybrid system it works really good also check out the test drive guys i will have the test drive soon on the channel so click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out anyway let me go forward the co2 emission in vltp estimated 33 grams also the fuel consumption vltp estimated combined consumption it's 1.5 liters the the gross battery capacity it's 17.8 kilowatt hour it's a lithium battery and the range in in electric mode only in electric mode you can do with the car around 63 kilometers impressive also if you will drive in electric mode the consumption of the car will be 17.1 kilowatt hour around there depend on the on many factors i should say also very important the trunk space 477 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1726 liters the fuel tank capacity 50 liters also the turning circle 10.8 meters and the car come with independent suspension in the front double wishbone on the rear it comes with multi-link independent suspension also what was impressive for me is the fact that the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front and ventilated brake this on the rear so it has just incredible brakes now guys let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys first of all let's start with the key this is the key pretty simple the same key as mazda use it also on other models here on the side we have a few buttons this is for the alarm you can turn it on and off the other button is for the trunk so as you can see if you press it the car come with automatic lift gate in the trunk and it works really really good also if you want to close it again press it a few seconds and then the trunk uh, will close you can also release the button in this time also another cool thing that i like about the car that i see they they bring in new it's for example when you unlock the car you can see it has a nice i should say playing light so anyway some much nicer lights when you close the car and also if you go in the front and um, if you would see when you turn on the car and turn off you will see the new lights uh, they are super super nice i love the way they design it the new lights um, look much much better than the previous version um, and other suv from mazda also of course the car come with um, electric folding mirrors keyless entrance and all you have to do is just come here put your hands here and you can see the car will unlock and um, the same story if you want to lock it you put your finger right here and you lock the car and you can see also the mirrors are folding in anyway let's talk a little bit about the exterior design 
All right, guys, I just turned on the car. Right now it's on, and because it's a plug-in hybrid, it's working also, you can drive it also in electric mode. Right now uh, it's very silent, and this is, this is really awesome. If you want a big SUV with a lot of space, it's very practical, and in the same time to have uh, great consumption because of this battery is just, is just incredible. And also, uh, I will do the test drive and you can see in the test drive what was the consumption. But let's talk a little bit about the exterior design. I like, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the car, it's quite, quite big. It's like an, um, I, I think you can compare it with an BMW X6 or a Q, almost a Q7, almost a X7 is between um, X5 and I think it's an X5 around there in this area. But anyway, I like much more these new lights. You can see the turning signals. They have a nice pulping, a different pulping than on the other cars. And I like that very much. It looks much more modern, much nicer. Also, it looks really good. Mazda was always good with the exterior design. In terms of lines, uh, the car look uh, really, really nice. I, I really like the exterior design. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the roof. On the roof, you can see that the car comes with a glass roof. I will show you also from the interior. Also here in the back, we have uh, the spoiler that I think it's, it's also blend in very nice with the car in the back here for a, for a better aerodynamic. We have some plastic, some matte plastic on the side. Uh, up here we have the brake light, LED brake light, tinted windows on the side. It looks really good. And also you can see uh, the design here on the side. It's really interesting. It's for the first time when I see here in this area a different design, a nicer design than usually. And it's not a rubber here. It's kind of a plastic mat and it looks really, really good. Anyway, let me go in the back. Uh, talking a little bit about the lights, look incredible nice. And you can see the turning signals, you can see the, the fog lamp, everything it's LED. And I like that very much. They still keep this Mazda style design um, and they look really good. This is the fog lamp, the taillights LED and also the turning signals. They have a different, different pulping, a nice pulping, I should say. Also from the back, the car looks phenomenal. It looks a little bit like a BMW, I think, um, and it looks really, really nice. Now, Mazda logo, reverse light. We have uh, also um, LED lights on the number plate, and it looks, they look really good from the distance. Uh, coming close, CX-60 all-wheel drive, as I said before, and on the other side, E-Sky Active uh, PEV, it's from plug-in hybrid, so you know which engine and which model you are driving, which version. Going down on the bumper, also very nice. Uh, we have some light reflectors, four parking sensors. I was expect to have five, but you will see uh, how good quality is the camera. Down here, we have some fake exhaust pipes. Uh, they, they actually added here uh, for an extra sporty look i think and here we have some mat uh, some kind of air diffuser and then again some fake exhaust pipes on the other side other than that you can see also under the car uh, we don't have a completely flat floor there they didn't try to to maximize the aerodynamic but yeah anyway this is the back it looks nice from my point of view it looks really really nice here on the passenger side, uh, you will have the charging port so you can charge uh, the battery uh, on the right side. And also, as I said before, you can drive the car in electric mode up to 63 kilometers. It's really, really more than enough to go to work and home, for example, and to save a lot of money. Looking from the side, uh, the windows, you already see it right here. I like the fact that they add this glossy black plastic between the windows and even here it looks uh, really nice. Another thing that I like very much that they still keep it, uh, but let me go on the other side because you have, we have more lights here, is the fact that they keep this protection. You see this protection for the wheels, for the paint. Uh, not only that they make it in the same color as the car, I like that very much, but it's very useful if you scratch the car, if you scratch these areas, you don't have to repaint the car, you just change those plastic and you are good to go. So very, very useful. They combine somehow practicality with a nicer design. Down here, 
the same story guys, the same plastic to protect the down part of the door. So you can see if you open the doors, you will see this plastic to protect this area as well. So very, very useful and practical in, in time. So these also extend all the way to the front. And this area usually here, uh, a lot of cars make rust, but because of this uh, protection, you will be uh, good to go for many years. And also you can see this protection that goes all over in the front. So great job with that. A little bit higher, we have this HEV, uh, PHEV, I should say, from plug-in hybrid. So you know which version it is. This is new uh, and it looks quite, quite nice the way they integrate it here. Um, going back to the mirrors, a little bit higher. We have the mirror in uh, black, a black glossy. So it's kind of in contrast with the car. It's the same as the rims there. Um, and it looks nice. Also the turning signals, very different. Very interesting the way it's, it's pulping there. Uh, down here we have a camera. The car comes with 360 degrees cameras. Also here we have the blind spot technology in the corner. Quite big mirror. So you have quite a good, good visibility. I will show you also when we go uh, inside the car. Now let's talk a little bit about the doors here because it's kind of unique the way they design those doors. We have somehow a round shape and then a straight shape down here. Really beautiful. Beautiful are also the handles. Also they are aerodynamic. You can see the aerodynamic design and also they are, they are really, really cool. And the quality when you open the door, it's also good. You can hear the sound when you close the doors. The quality, it's, it's really great. Great, great quality on the doors as well. Also in the front, um, the same story. Up here on the windshield, we have uh, the camera and the sensors for raining and light. And also the camera can read the traffic speed limit and also the lane assist and all that uh, safety features that the car come with. Now let's go in the front. Also, you can see the lights from this angle. Quite beautiful, beautiful design. Also the hood, it's really long. I was impressed to see how much space it has here for the engine and for the electric motor and for all that uh, things. It's, I don't know, on the, on the video you cannot see that, but trust me, it has a lot of space here in the front. Those are one of my favorite uh, element on this car so you can see the turning signals they are moving somehow here in the middle integrated in this area of the grill it looks splendid also we have the latest technology matrix led light from mazda and everything it's led daylight high beam low beam turning signals splendid and also you have a sprinkle here to wash up um, the light there so beautiful i should say uh the same beautiful i like how they design this in this area we have it's not a black glossy it's kind of a i don't know how can i call it it's it's it's, it's kind of a dark silver color uh, and it looks really really nice also here we have black glossy plastic all over the grill huge grill and if you look inside there you have some pedals clappers that are closed right now they will open and close depend what the engine need to be cooled down or not uh, also here we have the um, Mazda logo behind the logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features down here a camera for 360 degrees cameras and yeah this is the grill this, they, they keep somehow the same front design as Mazda uses with uh, but this time they kind of change it a little bit. They make it much more interesting. Uh, more interesting, it's also the bumper. If you look at the bumper and those elements here, and you can see it has a real air intake there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see uh, the air intakes there. Uh, really small, but really nice. And also they are useful uh, for the consumption. Down here again, some air intakes in this area and some plastic mat also on the down part overall uh, a beautiful beautiful exterior now let's talk a little bit about the rims guys black glossy rims 20 inch uh, also ventilated brake discs in the front as i told you uh, before great great brakes it's also 
uh, come with a lot of gummy here on the 20 inch rims. That means you should have great comfort over the bumps. Uh, if I go back a little bit, you can see that the car look relatively good with the rims. I think you can get even bigger rims if you want to make it more sporty. But in my opinion, it's more than enough uh, if you want to drive also economical and to have also great comfort inside the car. Surprisingly, on the rear, it comes also with ventilated uh, brake discs. I don't know if you can see it there, uh, but it's, it's really, really good. Also here on the driver's side, you have the tank, the petrol tank as an information. And yeah, what do you think, guys? Tell me in the comment what you think about the design. Uh, but in my opinion, it looks much, much better than the new CX-5. Uh, this new CX-60, it's really beautiful. Now, those are the lights. You can see it also, how we illuminate the new Opel Astra. Uh, that is also great. If you want to see the review and all the info about it, check out on my channel. Now, before we go inside, I want to show you also the engine part. And also, let me start the engine for a while um, and also the lights the hazard light now going here it's for the first time when I open that also you have a, a clap or a button here in the front it's very simple and I notice that you have an automatic lift gate this is great a lot of good quality and also you will see when we go inside now here is the engine bay as I said, a lot of space for the engine, a lot of space for the electric part, for the electric motor as well. Also, you can see right in here, e Sky Active will have uh, also the Mazda logo. It looks nicer. It looks like a Mercedes uh, engine part. Here's the air filter. Uh, what can I see more? The liquid cooling. Here's the liquid for the wipers. Uh, inside there, it's also engine and the motor should be around there. But anyway, also we have an insulation here uh, for the noise. So overall, um, this is the hood. This is the engine. If you want to close it, you should use two hands um, and not only one. Yeah, but I can do it just like that. In the back here, you have a button, automatic lift gate. Simple to open up. Up here, we have the buttons to close it and uh, lock it also handle to close it manually an LED light here's the protection for the trunk you can also take it out if you want to but I like the way they put it up here on the door so you don't have to always take it out put it in so this is the trunk relatively big 477 if I remember well liters uh, down here you have some plastic at the entrance some hooks in every corner but it's great that you have a flat floor this is great I like that very much uh, also some uh, space here for a cable for example or whatever you want to put right here this is also very useful uh, up here you have some handles if you want to fold down the seats I will show you in a second also from this side you can fold down the seats LED light again uh, here we have a 12 volt port awesome hooks in the corner also this is a net I'm going to show you what is under the floor here. Under the floor, you don't have so much space. So don't expect to have so much space here. No spare tire uh, because they have to fit in somewhere. Um, the tank, the petrol tank, the battery, uh, the all wheel drive system. Uh, but you still have some space to put a few things right here. Um, anyway, this is it. Now, let me take out this protection. I will fold down the seats, or actually, let me show you how easy it is to fold down the seats. You just pull this like that, and you're good to go. You fold the seats in one second. Even here, you have two, one for the middle, and one for uh, the side, just like that. Anyway, let me go here on the side. The great part is that you can also carry long items in the middle, electric adjustable seats, I forget to adjust it. I'll put it there. Let me make it realistic. I want to go in my driving position. Okay, right now, driving position. Now we can see actually how it's in real. Okay, put it back just like that. Also, the seat belt. It has a nice place here, so you don't have to always 
uh, pull it and push it and stuff like that. So now it's all the way down. Let's go in the back, close the doors. Here is the space. But anyway, let me take out this protection, guys. You can see a little bit better. All right, I just take out that protection. Now you can see a little bit better the entrance. It's huge. I mean, look at this. Really, really huge entrance. You have almost a flat floor, completely flat floor to fit in here. A lot of stuff. Uh, you can even sleep here without any problem. And also it has a big, big entrance. You can see from this angle also the glass roof that I'm talking before. I will show you also later. Look at this. This is the space. Really, really super, super space. A lot of space. It's normal for such a big car to have a lot of space. Now, let me open the door. Oh, surprisingly, look at this. It's almost 90 degrees. You can open the door. That means you have a huge entrance here on the side. Really, really big entrance. I like that. Look at the space. You can see from this angle a little bit better. Oh, yeah really really much space down here on the legs it's also great that you don't have a big transmission tunnel so uh, you can see even free people you will see later can sit here without any problem and really useful all this space it's crazy crazy useful anyway let me put everything back and then we will go inside all right guys now before we go inside let's talk a little bit about the door here we have one window from one piece and if you want to fold it down you can see that it goes until here, this is maximum that you can uh, fold it down. Just I want to let you know as an information. Going forward, soft material everywhere. Here, here you have leather, here you have leather, and super soft. It's mega soft and good for your armrest. Handle here, you have the button for uh, windows. Also, you have a speaker here uh, in this area, some storage space. This is also great. Uh, and other than that, here it's plastic. Now, the entrance in the car is really big, as I told you before. Also from this angle, you can see the glass roof look quite nice. And you can see also the seats and the space here in the back. Relatively good space. Um, also, the quality inside the car feel awesome. I mean, the seats, we have this leather uh, seats that goes also until here on the side. Uh, also, we have kind of a side support here. We have brown stitches. Isofix for two, you can install two child seats here in the middle also. It's relatively soft, you will see for, for third person. And also I like these little, little holes in the seats. Great, great seats, great quality. Uh, here we have an armrest, two cup holders, very useful. And uh, again, something that I like very much about the car is the fact that behind the front seats, we have leather and soft material, some storage space here, really awesome. Look at these guys no transmission tunnel really really good thing i like that very much going inside the car right now it's very easy here we have two vents and if you play with them uh, the quality it's incredible good we have heated seats free position heated seats for the rear seats two usb-c and a 220 volt uh, socket so you can charge your laptop here for example really useful i like those things very much now, let me close the door. Once you close the door, the sound insulation, I will tell you more in the test drive, so check that out. I don't know too much about that. Uh, now, here we have handle hooks. We have an LED light, beautiful. Um, I like that. I like that the fact that the roof, it's in white. It's a different, different uh, type of material on the roof. It's for the first time when I, when I touch this type of material. It's a little bit harder. It's not that soft as we are used to, but I like the fact that it's quite, quite uh, bright and white. Now, in terms of space, I uh, manage to adjust the seats in my driving position in the front. Up here on the head, I have four or five fingers. I'm 173 centimeter, by the way, and I have a lot of space. I like that it's quite comfortable. It's really, really comfortable here on those seats. Nothing to complain. I sit really, really well here, and also the visibility on the window it's quite good. We have a big window, good visibility. Also, we have a small window in the back there. So, nothing to complain. Now, let's go in the middle. I like the fact that it's no transmission tunnel. I can go in the middle very easy. And here in the middle, I have less space, like four fingers and a little. 
I can stretch my hand completely there and even here. So free person here can stay without a problem. The only thing is that here in the middle, keep in mind, it's a little bit stiffer and on the back, it's also a little bit stiffer. But other than that, uh, the legs room, this is the legs room here. This is the legs room here. By the way, I forget to show you the legs room on the side. So this is the legs room on the side and also I can stretch my legs under the front seat and under the front seat you have an LED light there. So in terms of space guys, on my legs it's more than perfect and also on my head. So I think even if you are a taller person you can sit here without any problem. I like the fact that you can somehow have the legs together but not too much but somehow. This is, this is really good. Very practical, very good and also very good quality here. Now, we will go in the front, guys, we will talk about the multimedia system, about the new digital cockpit, about the uh, new center console, and yeah, overall, if you look from here, from this angle, it looks not big different from the previous version, it's same simple, the same integration of the multimedia there, yeah, it looks kind of the same with a little bit of changes, uh, but good changes in, in, from my point of view. Anyway, let's go in the front. Here we have a big window, one piece, that means good visibility in the mirror. Uh, if you look up here, you can see a speaker, a small speaker. We have both sound system, uh, so that means great, great sound system. Kind of the same design as on the rear here in the front. Uh, also the same soft material on the upper side. Now we have a nice, nice plastic, nice trim design here. Then we have some chrome, we have leather here in this area uh, then we have again leather and armrest and very good quality the brown stitches uh, lock and unlock button then we have the buttons for the windows here also lock the windows buttons for the mirror you can adjust the mirror electrically from here uh, also a speaker another speaker down here and then we have some storage space the storage space in the front i always expect to be a little bit bigger uh, but i think it's it's just fine you can get used with it uh, also, you can use the middle center console space there. Entrance, relatively big. You also, from this angle, you can see a little bit better uh, the glass roof. You can see the seats, the same seats as on the rear. The same leather, um, nice quality seats. They look nice, they are wide enough. Uh, they have these little stitches. Also, by the way, those seats are ventilated and heated seats. So this is great, another cool feature on the car side support side support here and also this is a perfect combination uh, for long trips short trips sporty driving electric adjustable seats from here you can adjust it electrically the way you want it also you have the lumbar and side parts uh, normal pedals by the way there and if you look a little bit higher here you have the button to open the trunk save the position from here you save the electric position uh, up here you have you can turn on and turn off uh, you can see right here on the screen the safety features. Then we have the uh, parking sensors, traction control, and you can open the uh, tank from here. If you look a little bit higher, we have some kind of chrome. I like very much those new vans. They feel incredible smooth here in the front. Very, very good quality. I love the quality, the way they feel. And also I like this quality in this area. Uh, also soft, soft everywhere on the higher. Uh, side this is great now here you can see this electric adjustable steering wheel and it works really fast incredible fast really really good it works perfect I like that a lot of great features on the car close the door right now visibility around the windows it's good actually it's great also big mirrors we have a great visibility in the mirrors great visibility around the windows also, you can see in the back right there, really, really nice. Also, you can see the seats in the back one more time. Here in the middle, leather, brown stitches. Um, I like that here you have also leather in this area. So it's, it's really, really good quality. Also, you press some buttons here and you open this middle part. You have again two USB port, very useful, the key and a nice, nice soft material with an LED light there super super uh, good quality now in the middle i like very much this center console it's much more bigger this time and it's very easy to reach out while you're staying here to drive you reach out those buttons very simple they still keep those controllers so again 
we don't have any touch screen here so don't expect to have a touch screen and some somehow it's much better because you have the controllers here when you drive it's much more easier to control everything from here guys so uh, from my point of view it's great that it's super super easy to control that multimedia system from down here and it's useful now here we have electronic handbrake auto hold that's great that the car come with auto hold then uh, the shortcut buttons for different uh, menu i will show you also when you go forward to the multimedia system here you have the volume turn on and turn off the multimedia and here you can save favorite button uh, whatever you want to do two cup holders here you can also close it like that the same nice trim here as you have it on the doors there so if you look closely you can see the trim quite nice downhill assist this button is for 360 degrees camera not only when you go in reverse surprisingly guys incredible incredible quality on those camera i was super impressed to see that the car have crazy quality the resolution of those cameras it's incredible i was like blow my mind to be honest uh, when i see it first time really really blow my mind anyway if you go in reverse right now this is the stalk here quite nice quite interesting uh, i like the grip the quality uh, the chrome design also here you can see the position you have a button here up here i don't know if you can see it you have a button there press the button go right now you are in reverse guys also uh, the mirrors are dimming down and you have this active line there where you can see in reverse and also when you go in reverse i will go a little bit in reverse you can see that here it's map up the ground so you have kind of a 360 degrees camera going in reverse going in d and also you have the front camera right there super cool super simple press this button going in park again uh, and it's crazy crazy easy to drive this car now you have also different driving modes you can see right there you have knee drive i should say and you have a pedal and you have a few different driving modes sport mode normal ev and off-road mode this is great this is something new and the graphics on this new display are just phenomenal and every time you change it you can see um, it's changed somehow also the side uh, side view you know like in sport mode this is sport mode super aggressive super nice and then you go in normal mode and also the screen this new digital display beautiful digital display i have to say that mazda finally bring a digital display digital cockpit uh, on the market and it looks really nice i love it and also this is off-road uh, and this is the colors for the off-road really interesting love this new digital screen and also i love the design it's not like other cars straight and stuff like that it has a nice design and, and a nice shape i should say and great brightness and it's quite quite big from the driver point of view you have a great great visibility here um, you see everything super clear and super nice Anyway, you can adjust the seats, by the way, in every position you want without any problem. And also the steering wheel, you can adjust it electrically. The car comes also with a head-up display. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn off the light and look at this. You can see the head-up display there directly on the windscreen. Uh, it's much nicer than before. I think they also step up the game with this one and I like it very much. Also the lights, you will see high beam, low beam, you will see it's just incredible. It's much, much better than before, guys let me go forward now here you have also this button that gets you to the battery settings so you can change um, also the charging level for example if you want to i will cancel it right now uh, a little bit forward you have also uh, the possibility to charge your phone wireless and also you have a 12 volt board there just in case you need it these days lovely lovely it's also the quality on the dash everywhere here is leather here is soft material uh, very nice integration of the vents there and also here we have some uh, chrome design we have those uh, vents super super good quality open up this glow box huge glow box by the way uh, you can fit in here a lot of stuff i like that i like that very much really really nice now let's go to the climatic system it's integrated down there under the vents and you can see you turn it off from on from here you choose the van speed you have physical button here look how cool is that up and down up and down just like that 
lovely you can put it on auto synchronize for you and the passenger dual climatic system the great part is guys what i want to tell you is the fact that the car come with heated steering wheel heated seats free position ventilated seats free position for you and the passenger that's why there are those little holes here in the seats for the ventilated seats it's great for summer and also for winter so great great system i like the way they are it here power button this is the power button here and then you have also the button to um, to play a little bit with the screen brightness so this is awesome now i want to show you something when you turn off the car and when you turn on the car let me show you guys it's really great this graphic look at the graphic oh yeah cx60 beautiful graphic i love that really nice let me turn off the lights anyway really really great now guys the stalks are here behind i think you already see it not no, not big deal you can also uh change from here if i'm not wrong let me go to drive and if you press those you can change um the the speed manually you can see also there from here from those pedals so that's something to keep in mind that you are able to do guys you can change the speed manual from those uh clappers there now let me go back to uh ev mode i think it's not working anymore i have to stop the car and then start it again now it will start in ev mode now anyway the thing is like that uh, here on the steering wheel, the steering wheel is very similar with what we see before, so it's not big change here, Mazda logo, some chrome design, good, good quality and good grip, so it was always good and easy to drive a Mazda. Here we have uh, physical buttons, for example, for the volume, uh, for the multimedia, infotainment system, voice command, telephone, and here on the right side we have that cruise control, lane assist, and you can set it from here, you can see when you press this, uh, lane assist here you can see that even the screen is changing somehow in a beautiful way and i like that very much you can choose the distance between you and the car in front you can set up the cruise control from here super nice super super cool anyway um yeah that was all guys uh let me go forward now let's talk a little bit about multimedia system from here you control it i will control it from here i will zoom in on the screen first of all this is kind of the home screen it's a big screen there, so you have a great visibility from the driver point of view. Here also, by the way, is the hazard light button, if, in case you didn't see it. Drive efficient monitoring. Here you have information about um, yeah, how you drive it and how efficient you drive, I should say. Uh, also here you have the menu, fuel efficient, current drive. Uh, you can press it again, average fuel consumption, energy flow, monitoring here, it's showing you a nice graphic while you're driving. The settings here, you can reset those trip and um, a few things there. Anyway, let me go back to home. Uh, the second one is the en entertainment, uh, where you have the radio, of course, and you have the menu for uh, different um, audio settings, for example, down there. If I go to the third one, is the navigation. That's kind of a, I should say, a new navigation is much more responsive. And I like very much how fast you can go and play with those things. And you can set a destination in no time. Navigate here, you can see how fast it's working. Start guidance, and you can see it's almost instantaneous. So they work on it somehow and they manage to, to add a lot of uh, fastness I should say a lot of quality so the chip behind it it's much more faster also you can see the uh, navigation I don't know if you can see it but it's also there on the screen around here in this area great let me go back to home then you have the settings where you find all the settings of the car the EV settings here uh, is like a charging schedule you can schedule your charging climatic control timer here you can choose where you want to start and stop charging limit for an ac you can choose uh, charging limit for the battery charging connector lock regenerative brake level you can choose here regenerative brake normal or high you have two levels ev priority mode of course that's something that we want 
to drive always electric when you start the car for example driving charge um, target you know when you when you drive uh, what is the charging target in vehicle display here are all the settings for the vehicle display guys so from here you can choose how you like to have it central display instrument cluster or active display is the head of display so from here you choose and change different brightness and uh, settings of the display sound settings you have it here all the sound settings you find it right here you can change however you want the bass the treble the wherever also here the the vehicle notice sound safety settings are here by the way the driver assistance systems you can um, change the different settings from here um, and yeah you can choose how you like to have it then you have the safety alerts all the alerts are here collision avoid avoidance so you can uh, emergency brake you can activate deactivate uh, the distance control the smart brake support emergency lane assist a blind spot lane keeping assist all that safety features are here driving monitoring you find it here view monitoring you have it also here you have all the settings for it um, to see for example automatic front view display dynamic guidelines for the camera for example here and then parking sensor settings speed alert pedal uh, mistake if you mistake the pedal you can activate this uh, then you have the vehicle settings um, like for example the pedal shift logic how you like to pedal shift the doors exterior lights light interior raining sensitivity automatic folding sign mirrors turn signals rear driving position all those settings are here connectivity are here if you want to connect your uh, phone wireless bluetooth and everything all the connectivity are here driver personalization system so from here somehow you can have your own uh, personal settings so you can set up from there here is the clock language uh, tire pressure and all other settings of the car you find it around here so guys um, I think this is all this is kind of the multimedia system on the upper side here you have also a mirror a big mirror uh, where you can see very nice in the back there. I like that the edges are really tiny and nice uh, Higher up you have some LED lights you can turn it on from here. You have also a glass support I like that you have SOS button microphones and also up here You have a mirror and a small LED light and also a handle so overall uh, the only thing that's missing is from this button you can open up the the roof actually the first part of the roof you can also close it and then you can close up this curtain and protection electrically from here super simple just like that other than that this is the car I hope I didn't forget something guys uh, let me turn it off just like that uh, more information about the car I will have a separate video test drive video uh, so stay tuned, stay close to the channel, click the subscribe button to see the notification when the test drive video will come out. Uh, also, my rating for this new Mazda 660 from 1 to 10 will be 9.8. This is my rating. I think it's a great, great high quality uh, car, but I'm still waiting for the price. I'm really excited to see the price and I want to see it, uh, the options and all other information before I can give you a final rating. But anyway, around 8.9, beautiful design, exterior design, great quality materials. You have a great position here on the driving and it feels, it feels a premium, like a premium car and also super nice features. Anyway, that was the video. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see the car, if you want to test drive the car, if you want to buy the car in future, check out Belvag in Bern. I will leave the link in the description. If you want to check them out, if you want to see them, uh, check them out, guys. Also, thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will really appreciate that. Uh, also, I wait your feedback. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.